guys. I'd just like to introduce myself. So I'm I'm Becky. I'm the recruitment manager here um, at the TEFL Institute. You may have come from the TEFLinstitute.com or the TEFL.ie site. Um, we are all the same company and we are here to talk about China today um, and it is the same program otherwise so just so you know um, so your emails afterwards may come from different emails um, but it is the same program um, yeah so today we are joined by um, our on the ground partners in China um, and I'm also joined by Kate, who is an enrollment officer, and she will join us at the end. And she's here to kind of help me out with the chat box and everything like that as well. And um, so if you do have any questions throughout the webinar, you can just write in um, the chat box. And if we can't get to it, uh, I, I will try and answer them throughout and try to spot them coming in. If we don't answer it, we will get to it at the end, or if it's just a quick message, um, then Kate can write in for me. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be about 40, 45 minutes long with a little bit of time at the end for, quest uh, for questions, um, as I said. Uh, yeah, so it is, the China placement. So we are really, really excited to be opening up um, a China contract, which, you know, hasn't been open up in a while. So we're really, really excited to get it all up and running. Uh, we have a lovely long waiting list and everything like that, that people who are just dying to go abroad. Um, and I know we're all very, very excited to get people abroad. This year, we've gotten a few people um, out and about um, and I can just see 2022 really being very, very successful, uh, including this program. So we are opening this up. The first date uh, we are opening up this for is January. So January 2022 is what we are aiming for here. And it is a 12 month placement. Uh, it's based nationwide, so um, all, all over China. Uh, so you can, you know, uh, put down preferences and stuff like that. So if you do have a place in particular in China that you want to go to us, you can email us uh, the place and we can double check for you. So the first thing I'm going to go through is just kind of what's included in the program. So it is a training program and job placement. So you will get all the training from us. So if you don't already have the TEFL certificate, that's okay. Um, we do provide that for you and you'll, you'll get the certificate, you'll get the training, the pre-departure support and everything like that all included. The salary uh, ranges a little, but it's around to the equivalent of 2,150 euros per month. Uh, the as I said the 120 hour course is included and you get to do this before you go uh, pre-arrival support so what this includes is all the help with your visa when to book your flight if you're having any troubles anything like that all your documents so for example if you're based here in Ireland then your bachelor's degree might be in latin if it's from ucc or something like that so you might you need to get that translated to english so there's a couple of uh, sticky things like that that we have lots of experience with and that we would definitely be able to help you with um so this is why people do pick uh the larger programs rather than going for individual schools um, the visa that you'd need to go for as well would be the, the Z visa and we help completely with this from my side and, and um, from the ground in China as well from Dan's side as well. <clears throat> so when you arrive as well there's a free hotel accommodation um, you're completely set up it's group start dates and 
th there's a lot, a lot of support as soon as you arrive. You also get 10 paid holidays and 11 national holidays during the year, which is absolutely lovely. You'll be able to kind of experience China and everything like that as well um, as, uh, as teaching. So you'd be going over there primarily for teaching and the teaching experience and everything like that in, in Chinese schools. But you do get that time off as well to explore, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's all Western management as well, which is which is quite nice to, to 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 deal with because you know you'd have the same um, the same ideals, I guess. Uh, yeah. So what is required? So there are a few requirements here to be able to teach in China. Um, some have got to do with the work permit, and some are just based on school capabilities. So the first and foremost one is your passport. So the passport must be from one of the seven native English speaking countries, the US, UK, Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Um, and your bachelor's degree as well. So the bachelor's degree, it doesn't have to be a bachelor's of education or anything like that. We are training you to teach English. So it doesn't have to um, be linked in any way to, to teaching or education. It just has to be a bachelor's degree of any discipline. And this is to do with the work permit. Um, so this is why you do need the bachelor's degree. You need a clean criminal background check as well. So hopefully um, we all didn't get up to too much. And you also need to commit to that one year. Okay, so it is a 12 month placement. Um, so you need to commit to that one year. And the TEFL is obviously, um, is the, you need to be TEFL qualified as well as a requirement, but that's included. So that's no worries at all if you're not included already. Okay, so that's kind of just a little bit of a touch on the, um, <clears throat> the China program. I'm going to pass you on to Dan now because he's on the ground and he, he's, um, he deals with the, with the China applications all the time and knows a lot more than I do. So I'm going to pass you on to Dan just to go through a little bit about your journey and a couple of um, other things. Okay. Yeah, thanks very much. Nice to, nice to meet you all. Thanks for coming along today as well. Um, I'll start by talking a little bit about kind of things that you need to, to have. I know we kind of touched on this, but things you need to kind of organize yourself before making that move, traveling out there comes some kind of essentials in terms of teaching over in China. We did just mention the, the clean background check. That is essential number one, um, obviously going over there to teach. So that's one thing that you will need. Um, but once again, you'll get all of that support to, to obtain that and, and know how to go about that process. Um, you will, will also need for some cities to be able to obtain a medical check. Once again, uh, you'll get walked through all of this. And for some cities, it is just kind of a, a statement that you you will actually receive a health checkup when you arrive in China, which is quite nice. Um, it's very much standard procedure in China for a lot of the cities to uh, to get that health checkup when you first arrive. Going on from that, in terms of arriving with some kind of finances or financial backing, a lot of it is helped. We do provide cash advances for things, setting up accommodation, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But we do advise to come over with come over with a little bit of money as well. We normally advise around 10,000 RMB uh, available to you. Doesn't need to be cash um, in general, but to, to have some kind of money to, to help really the, the exploration when you first get out there. New teachers always get off the plane and want to see every aspect of China in the first month. It's natural. Uh, so it's nice to have that little bit of financial backing behind you uh, to start with as well. And then also with kind of travel insurance as well, just making sure you have that initial travel insurance. You will get health insurance, which we will help with when you are over there. But that initial kind of travel insurance, um, so to make sure that everything's fine on that, that initial flight over to, to China as well. But a few fun facts about 
I suppose the the program, the the process in in what happens, um, and what happens once you actually arrive in China. I guess um, we do provide a lot of accommodation support in general. So we'll put you in contact with English speaking estate agents. Uh, we'll have a presentation in the first day or two, either run by one of our teacher ambassadors、um, or one of our teacher trainers that will talk about the area that you could potentially live in,、um, whether it be that you want to live on top of your School, or you want to live a little bit further out of the city, they will break down every single question that you you could possibly have,、um, and then kind of tell you how to go about finding that accommodation as well. Put you in contact with those estate agents,、um, so you can kind of browse and and see someone that really does suit yourself, because、um, all teachers have different preferences in, in that regard. So. That is obviously within the first few days of kind of landing in China, and to walk through that that process of of arriving in China, I suppose a lot of the frequently asked questions are, what what's the journey like, and and what happens when you get there. So I'll walk you through a little bit of that、um, in terms of what to expect if you you do go through with it. So you will get. Picked up initially from from the airport. That's the th first thing you'll get when you arrive. A nice, friendly face welcoming you into China, where you'll get taken to、uh, the teacher hotel, which, like we mentioned, you'll be you're kind of based in for the first couple of weeks while you're while you're over there looking for that accommodation. We then give you a city orientation, where we'll take you around the city wherever you could be located, whether it's Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, or somewhere up north, somewhere maybe even nice like Harbin. They'll take you. Around that city, show you the nice kind of tourist spots and and where to really、uh, look out for and and different places to go. You'll have help with every kind of essential, such as setting up banking, setting up your mobile phones. You'll be in a big group of of teachers when you arrive, as mentioned. So you won't be by yourself. You'll be with lots of other teachers,、uh, from five to ten teachers. I've seen groups of up to forty arrive at the same time. So it can be a really nice group. Uh, of teachers that are all going to kind of go their their separate ways or go off to to different schools throughout the city,、um, in general. So it's a nice way to make friends out there as well. In that first two weeks, where you are doing a lot of training on the ground to to get used to the the city and and get used to the the, the kind of environment of the schools as well. Obviously, you'll have time to search for that accommodation as well and and kind of go out there and find these places. Um, so there's lots and lots of different things that happen in those first two weeks, but a lot of it is making sure you're settled, acclimatizing to the, the new time zone, and, and really going on from there. Going on from from that on to kind of looking into when when kind of possibly you could start in China, like you say, we're looking currently around about January time,、uh, as it does take a few months to to go through processes and and visas, and obviously as you can understand, COVID has slowed things down,、uh, which I'll go into kind of the the COVID updates. I think that's the big question that everyone's on everyone's lips at the moment is what are the updates, what to expect of arrival, especially with COVID and and things like that as well. So in terms of COVID, like I say, it slowed things down in in all aspects of, of the process of of arriving in China, but things are actually starting to pick up,、uh, and we're starting to arrive a lot more teachers.、Uh, we actually had a group of teachers arrive last week. I've got some more flying out on Friday, so it's good news、uh, to see that things are picking up in terms of international travel and, and teaching. Because、uh, this time last year, I couldn't say the same, unfortunately. But but things are on the on the right kind of path now, which is always good. In terms of What to expect for from now? Things will be slightly different. So in those first two weeks, at the moment, at least,、uh, teachers are going into quarantine hotels, but that is fully covered for as well. So you don't need to worry about paying for that upfront or anything like that. We will pay for that all for you. We'll support you in that, and some of the training will be done online. Once you finish and you you kind of finish up that initial quarantine,、uh, then you will go to the teacher hotel where you'd have another two two weeks in there as well.、Um, so that's kind of how that works at the moment. Things could change, and until kind of January, I think we're in that world at the moment where things are changing consistently anyway.、Um, but at the moment, that's how that stands. But but be aware that that may change, and it may well be that if you're vaccinated, there is no need for quarantine or or anything could happen. Uh, we are, or like we say, kind of on the ground. We're we're always dealing with this, so you will be in the best hands to know the updates as they come through the system. We are kind of first to know. We'll be able to kind of 
give you that information from there and prepare you the best we can for that arrival procedure as well. To tell you a little bit about what to expect in terms of the teaching and the, the ages and, and what to kind of expect in terms of ground there. So you will be working. Uh, it's a bit of an unorthodox schedule, I suppose, but it is quite a nice schedule, especially in terms of TEFL teaching. It is very much a kind of uh, international schedule I've heard from in terms of TEFL teaching, very much China um, focused anyway. You will have an evening and weekend schedule uh, where you'll have two days off a week and they will be weekdays. They're normally at the start of the week in China. I don't know why that is, but it, it seems to be very, very kind of consistent across China, wherever I've been, um, that it's normally kind of a Monday and Tuesday. And one of my colleagues says Sunday night is kind of like your Friday night in China um, because all the TEFL teachers from, from all other places are all out and they're all kind of looking to, to explore and get those experiences. Um, but that's kind of how that works. Uh, and you do roughly 20 hours of teaching a week and you have around 20 admin hours as well in that time as well and it works out very nicely we do work with all students from three years old all the way up to 18 so there is a, a nice large mix of students. So if you're looking to, to kind of gain experience across all ages, it's a great kind of, of course to get involved in um, because you will gain all of that experience in that. And it's also nice to, to have a day where you can kind of go from running around and really getting engaged to, to having a nice conversation with the older students as well. It's quite a nice mix to have. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it when I was teaching out there as anyway. Um, and then... Once again, just to touch up on a, on a few things, kind of the, the benefits, I suppose, of, of teaching with, with us and then kind of going out there and really kind of enjoying that time. Um, first of all, we do reimburse all of kind of the, these costs. We've spoke about visa costs and, and arriving through these visa costs. Um, it can be quite costly um, to go through uh, initially, but we do reimburse all of those for you. And we do, for most cities, uh, also supply that initial flight as well, as well as having a kind of flight allowance for if you do decide to come home. Some teachers don't. Some teachers love it out there and stay for a long, long time. Um, but we'll have that flight allowance for you on return as well. Um, so to kind of touch on that, like I say, some teachers do decide to, to stay a long, long time and, and continue and, and really enjoy that culture and, and kind of see, see a lot more of not just China, but Asia in general. It's a great hub uh, if you're looking at exploring different parts of, of Asia or, or even anywhere else that's kind of in touching distance. Um, so, yeah, it's a great place to see that. Um, and obviously, I've mentioned that the teachers that you start with as well bring a great kind of energy and there's lots of activities going on all the time. There's lots of team buildings, there's lots of excursions and, and things always going on outside the classroom. So you'll have a, a really nice community um, there as well that you'll kind of be, be joined and connected with. As, as corny as it does sound, they do come like your second family. Um, I understand how I sound when I say that, but when you're spending 24 hours a day, seven days a week with, with most of these teachers, um, yeah, you, you form pretty strong connections with them. And yeah, there's a, there's a great life. There's so much to do and see um, out there. And you'll, you'll often find yourself going on different trips, different excursions, even if it's in your city or outside of your city and, and lots of great kind of life in there um, and then one last thing for me I know it's kind of been mentioned we are all over China in general um, so we actually have over 300 schools in China we're in over 60 different cities so there is lots and lots to choose from so whether you're looking at one of these big cities like your Beijing's or Shanghai's we're looking somewhere slightly smaller maybe like Shunda or, or Fuzhou some of these cities you may not have heard of I, I am fully aware um, but if you look at any city in China that you could possibly think of we are probably there um, if we're not then I, I definitely wouldn't have heard of it. I'd love to sit here and name all 60 cities for you, but unfortunately I, I don't know them all off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, feel free to, to have a little browse and, and see a city that, that really kind of works for you because they do all have their own draw. Um, and each one has kind of a different, different kind of life that I should say. Um, so yeah, there, there's lots and lots of kind of opportunity out there and, and lots to explore and, and see um, and, a, and a great kind of experience all round. So yeah, that's that's a little bit from me. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, I've had free, feel free to, to type them in. And uh, yeah, I'll pass back to, to Becky for now. 
Thanks a million. That was uh, absolutely great. It's lovely to get some kind of inside information than uh, talking to other Amir Kate all the time. Um, so thanks a million for that, Dan. Um, yeah, and just remember, guys, that this is being recorded. So I can see that a couple of you joined maybe halfway through. So it is being recorded and we can send it to you after. So you can grab that um, bit and all the stuff that we've already talked about. So yeah, that's um, absolutely great. And what I'm gonna do now is it is Kate's turn to talk a little bit about the registration and the process um, and a little bit more about what courses are included. Thanks very much, Becky. Um, the first thing I will say is speak for yourself because I actually was in Shanghai and do have experience of being there. And um, just going back on Dan's point, I was laughing when you were saying you were corny about saying the whole second family thing, but speaking from experience and being a TEFL teacher myself, it really is true. It really, really is true. And it's, it's so lovely. And that's why I would always kind of have opted for kind of, um, I suppose, a group community kind of placement, a start date rather than going independently. And it just makes the world a difference if you're if you're solo traveling or you're kind of going to somewhere a little bit more um, or a little further from home. It's lovely. It's lovely to know that you have a group of people there with you um, and a team um, in China, you know, there to answer all the questions you have. So I've spoken to a couple of you before anyway, so lovely to see he again here today. But just to say that I will be running through um, the application calls tomorrow and giving anybody um, that call to run through any little kind of nitty gritty details they want and we'll get you enrolled on the, on the placement as soon as we can. And just a quick note as well, if you guys are kind of a little bit unsure, maybe if you if you don't fit the criteria fully or something like that, or something's a little bit, you're a little bit unsure, um, feel free to book in a call with me tomorrow and I can doubly check before we can move anywhere with the application that you're definitely el eligible. Um, and I know some of you here as well have TEFL training and some of you don't have TEFL training. So that's something that I can also discuss with you tomorrow um, and look at the different like options and prices and things like that with you as well. As we said, if there's any questions there, guys, put them into the chat box um, and we can answer them there at the end of the session. But just to run through the enrollment process, I suppose. So we do have um, limited spots for this position. So it does really work on a first come, first serve basis. And they do go quick, quickly. So um, please, please, please get in touch tomorrow if, if this is something that you're looking at doing for January, just to kind of get the ball rolling, um, get the process moving and get everything. And we can do it in a calm manner. Um, if you're like me, I hate doing things last minute. So it's nice to kind of have it um, prepared and organized and to get excited, to have time to actually get excited about um, this massive life change. Um, so we have 10 spots available guys tomorrow. Um, so as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an email there in the uh, chat box. So it's just recruitment at tefl.ie. And if you're somebody who wants to, um, enroll in this or go through and go for this position. And of course, as I said, if you're just somebody who wants to discuss a little bit further about your eligibility, then just pop us an email um, and I'll be doing recruitment calls tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And I'm more than happy to, to discuss anything with you about moving further with this with this position. Um, so for everything that was um, included there, there are different um, options because obviously um, some of you are TEFL qualified and some of you are TEFL qualified with other providers. So if you want to also just pop that into an email, if you could just kind of um, a little simple kind of little bio, you know, I'm this age, I have this qualification, I'm TEFL qualified or I'm not TEFL qualified. And we can let you know then the exact details um, of payment plans and things across um, that type of thing. I'm just going to check there. I saw one message come in privately, uh, but I can answer that there. Um, I have one here as well. Yeah, how long are the classes that we will be teaching in China? 
So Dan, I might leave that question to you if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, so they're they're an hour long. Um, so that the classes, the way they work, like I say, because it's evening and some weekends, you normally have in the evenings a maximum of three classes. Um, but that's very rare, I'll be honest with you. Um, and then on the weekends, the maximum of about five hours of teaching as well. So, so that's kind of how that works. But each class is, is an hour long. That's great, Dan. Thanks so much. And I just got one there as well. Um, is it possible to apply with a group of friends and would you be placed together? That's a big one we get done, actually. We, don't, we have groups of friends applying all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. They're, yes. Yeah, definitely. We love to, to have groups of friends and, and come, please, all, all come and, and come together, which is, is great um, in terms of that. We can't necessarily place everyone in exactly the same school, but we can make sure that they are placed in areas where, where there are many schools so you can kind of live together and, and commute together as well. Fantastic. And a question there from Ed. I was late to the party, but I, I is is there help with the visa process? Yeah, the, the visa process is, is fully supported as well. So we'll walk through every step of the, the journey with you um, to make sure that, that everything runs nice and smoothly. Perfect. Um, I think that's it, unless another one comes in there in the next two minutes. I'm just going to pop while I'm here as well. I'm going to pop that email into the chat box as well, guys, about just sending your little bio. And preferably, if you'd like me to call you at a specific time tomorrow, it'll be between 10 and 12 if anybody um, can get those calls. What will be my earnings each month? I have a question there, Dan, if you want to go on that one. Yeah, definitely. So I think Becky touched on it at the beginning. So um, it's roughly, um, I don't know, in terms of kind of, I think you put it in, in terms of euros initially. Um, but normally the, the average earning to start with is around 13,000 to, to 15,000 uh, R&B um, to, to start with. Yeah, so um, just in terms of um, euros is about, you know, in and around the two 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 thousand euros monthly, so you know you could be looking at um two thousand four hundred dollars ish. I think in the top of my head, um yeah, and so that actually equates. You know, you'd only really be spending very very little of that if you actually kind of look out. There's a lovely site called numbio.com, um and it's it brings up what things cost. So you can actually, you know, they have McDonald's burgers down there up to accommodation. Um, so that's a really, really nice site. Yeah, thanks Kate for putting that into the chat box there. Um, it's a really, really nice site just to see actually how much you will spend versus what you are earning. Um, because it really, really goes a long, long way in China, that amount of money um really really nice salary for china there perfect and i i'm gonna pass this to you again dan it's another one from ed so how how much time do you need usually to process your documents in time for january is it taking longer because of the pandemic in terms i, I assume that's in terms of the paperwork and legalization probably yeah yeah, definitely. I mean, things are, they're actually starting to pick up. It does normally take around three months to, to go through the whole process, three to four months. So things are are slightly kind of um, slower at the moment. But if you're looking roughly now to, to the next kind of month or so, you could probably arrive January time um, in that in that time. So yeah, looking around about three to four months for everything from when you start to, to arriving in China. Perfect. And can you earn extra by getting um, extra hours? So we do have uh, extra in kind of summer. You may have extra hours where you will get bonuses in those kind of times, but it's not so much that we do kind of overtime shifts and anything like that um, because all teachers are kind of working normally and and a lot of teachers just want to explore and, and gain that um, in, in general just have that freedom to, to kind of see the cities and that so there will be some opportunities but it's not regular every week 
that is fantastic i think unless um okay are transport links good in china i want to travel all around yeah uh <laughs> transport is amazing in china um it's very much like i say i uh, myself outside of london it's exactly like any any big city um pretty much all over obviously the population of china kind of speaks for itself and then they need to get around um great train links great metro lines and and most most cities i've been to have had an airport and everything to to travel around and, and get there so um yeah great great links yeah something we're definitely not used to here in ireland anyway oh my <laughs> God, the public transport. you can't get around here without a car it's, it's mental but uh, oh we've been more there from Mikla, so thank you Mikla for attending. Um, so many Chinese recruiters require for their jobs being native English speakers or have at least two years of documented full-time working experience. I'm not native, but I have the 120 hours TEFL certificate and can't provide experience. Do I have any chance in applying? So Nicola, would you mind just putting in where you hold a passport from? Um, Cause I think that might be important um, and just, I think, just to, a little bit more clarity on that. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, though, Dan, on that note, uh, experience isn't required. No. No. Yeah, it's just the it's just the, the passport, like you say, and obviously the TEFL and the background check, mm -hmm. that are the essential things. But yeah, that we don't need the experience because that's what we're all the training's for. Mm -hmm. Uh, which TEFL course qualification would be provided? I'm not qualified. Yeah, so that's um, a question that we get a lot of the time, actually. So it's the 120 hours um, of, it's a 120 hour TEFL certificate, that, which is the minimum amount of hours required to be a fully licensed TEFL uh, teacher. And just on that as well, actually, with the qualification, it, it's not just limited to say, this job or this or this program or the next two years or a year however long you spend in china it, it will do you or you can continue to use it um afterwards as well so um that's what's included with the training and as dan said as well pre-departure as well there'll be a lot of training included and when you arrive on site as well um it's fully supported um you're not thrown into a classroom and say there you go off, off you go now um it is quite supported and we do actually have um, a specialist training as well, tailored to young learners. Um, it's in addition to the certification. So because China is primarily, you know, young learners and it is what you'd be going for, as, as Dan mentioned, it's three to 18 year olds, the young learners, the specialist training will help you as well uh, with the, you know, with the methodologies of how to keep kids engaged, basically, and touching a, a, on that and everything like that. So you'll also get that in addition to the qualification. Um, and it's, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. So I just wanted to kind of add that in as well there. Um, yeah. Um, so I think that was all kind of the questions that came around. Um, Oh yeah, Nika. Okay, you're ver you're very welcome. And if you want to kind of double check your passport or anything, Nicola, as Kate said, just email into recruitment at tevil.ie and we'll be able to check your unique application, um, and your profile, just to kind of see because I know you know you have a 120 hour course, but you might have experience beforehand and stuff like that. So we we can double check everything for you um afterwards absolutely no problem uh yes yeah, so and sarah did you yeah i answered that one it was about the tech of course mm -hmm. perfect perfect okay um yeah i think that is all the questions that are coming in for now um as i mentioned kind of beforehand i know um ed mentioned he came in late and everything like that it is being recorded and we are going to send this out to the people that um couldn't arrive today also so yeah um 
Just want to say thank you, Dan and Kate, for joining me. They definitely have their their expertise. Um, and apologies, Kate, I forgot that you were in Shanghai, <laughs> all around the public transport system. Um, yeah, so that is perfect. It's definitely going to be my next stop anyway. Um, and as Dan touched on the, the visa process and everything, we do help from our side as well. Um, and Dan helps as well. So as I said, especially with the UK and Irish documents and the embassies over here, uh, we, we can, either of us can help basically. Um, and we're always here to help. So that is, oh, can you choose your location in China? Dan, I'll put this over to you. <laughs> yeah, you can indeed. Yeah. So uh, if there's somewhere that, that really stands out to you, just let us know and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But 90% of the time we can definitely accommodate. Um, and yeah, we definitely try to help in as best way we can. Yeah. And that's what kind of Kate touched on, I guess, as well, is that um, the sooner you get your application in, the less stress there is especially um, if you do have a precise location that you want, um, not just, I want to be in a big city or kind of, you know, close to the coast or something vague like that. But if you actually have friends in a certain city or something like that, and you're like, I really want to go here, um, the earlier, the better. And, you know, even if I, I wouldn't really have too much preferabilities um, otherwise, you know, like, so if you had a certain age group or something that you'd like, maybe be a little bit more flexible there if you are looking for a certain location. So, you know, but once your application is through, we will, as Dan said, 90% of the time, we'll, we'll, we'll get what you're looking for. Absolutely no problem. Um, yeah, so I think that was all of the questions uh thank you very very much if you do have any questions uh we're always here to help and kate will contact you as she said tomorrow so i think that's it from all of us thank you very much and we'll see you again soon thanks guys thanks very much have a great evening everyone